Hey y'all, welcome to fourth grade, chapter 13, lesson four. We're gonna go ahead and get started um, with number two. Um, it wants to know the perimeter, um, or it tells us the perimeter, and it wants us to come up with what the length is, okay? Well, actually that's pretty easy, okay? So if this side's nine, it means that this side is also nine, okay? So we have, we're starting with 42. And we're gonna take away the two sides here. So nine plus nine is 18, okay? Well, two can't take away eight, so I'm gonna borrow one, making it 12. 12 minus eight is four, and three minus one is two. So now between these two sides, 24, okay? Well, what's half of 24? We're just gonna cut 24 in half to decide which, what the length is of each side, okay? So 24 divided by 2, well, 2 times 12. Done. Okay. Let's do this one, okay? The area is 28. Okay. Well, this one's a little bit different, okay? So area, the formula for area is base times height, okay? It's telling us the area. And it's telling us the base. Okay, ready for a little bit of algebra, guys. Okay, so I need to get H alone, okay, to find out what the height is. In order to do that, I need to do the opposite of what the sine is, which is divide, and I need to do that by the number that's there. So now, whatever I do to this side is equal sign, I have to do this side, okay, which means these fours cancel out, and 28 divided by 4, well, 4 times there you go okay make sure you guys are writing down your work okay all right so let me go to the next one okay now this one says that the area all i'm going to do now is fill in the numbers it's giving me okay and this time it's not, it wants the base. It's telling me that the height is 25, okay? So opposite of the sign, divide. Dividing by the number that's there, which is 25. Now these 25s cancel out and whatever I do to this side, I have to do to this side. So I'm gonna divide by 25. Okay, now I'm gonna get a little bit tricky here because I bet you guys can do it, okay? I'm gonna look at this as $2, 200 cents is $2, okay? 25 cents is one quarter. I know that there are four quarters in $1, but I have $2 here, so I'm gonna have eight. The base is eight, okay? If you absolutely need to go 200 divided by 25 and do that out, you can absolutely do that, okay? I was just thinking of it in terms of money, which helped me to be able to get there, okay? So we're gonna go down to number five, okay? It says, Susie is an organic vegetable grower. The perimeter of her rectangle vegetable is 72 yards, okay? So, okay. So base plus base plus height plus height equals the perimeter, okay? Essentially, that's kind of what it is, okay? You can do the length times two and the width times two. That's fine too, okay? But I'm going to do this, and then I'm just going to fill in the blanks, okay? So the perimeter, it's telling us, is 72. It's also telling us oh, that the width, so the base, okay, is nine. So we have nine plus nine plus H plus H, okay? So we're gonna have 18 plus H plus H, okay? All right, and that's equal to 72, okay? So do the opposite of the sign, subtract, that's add, we subtract, okay? That gets rid of these guys. 
Now I need to subtract 18 from this side, okay? So, two can't take away eight. I'm gonna borrow one. I'm gonna make that a 12. 12 minus eight is four, and six minus one is five. So now I have 54 for the height, okay? But there's two of them, and I have to split it up, okay? So I'm gonna do 54, and I'm gonna divide that by two. So two goes into five, two times, two times two is four, subtract, get one. One is smaller than two, so I'm gonna bring down my four. Two goes into 14, seven times, seven times two is 14, subtract, get zero. So each side is 27. 27 yards, okay? You just have to remember that there's two of these, so you have to divide by two. Okay, all right, let's go. I'm gonna have you guys do number six because you totally can, okay? And we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna do the lesson check, just like always, and we're gonna go down to the swallow review, okay? It says a professional basketball court is in the shape of a rectangle. It's 50 feet wide and 94 feet long. Player runs one time around the edge of the court. How far does the player run? Well, so we have, 50 and we have 94 so we could add those up and then multiply it by two okay base length or length and width or however you want to do it um length and width okay so the width is 50 the base is 94 there's two of each of those sides so i'm just going to add them up and then multiply it by two four plus zero is four Nine plus five is 14. So now I'm just going to do times two. Two times four is eight. Two times four is eight again. Two times one is two. 288 feet. And that's it. Okay. On a compass, due east is a quarter turn clockwise from due north. How many degrees are in a quarter of a turn? How many degrees is this? Well, it makes an L, so it is 90 degrees. Okay. All right. The king's frog made three quick jumps. The first was one meter, the second was 85 centimeters, and the third was 400 millimeters. What was the total length in centimeters of the frog's three jumps? Okay, so I'll call that king Okay. So, one meter going to centimeters, we're gonna move that decimal one, two times to the right, okay? So one meter, the decimal would be there. It's gonna be moving that decimal one, two times, which gives us 100 centimeters, okay? We have 85 right here and 400 millimeters. Well, going from milli to centi, we have to move that decimal back one time to the left. So we're actually gonna cut off one of those zeros, which gives us 40. Add those guys up. 5, 12, carry the 1, and 2. 225 centimeters. Done. Okay. All right. Karen colors in squares on the grid. She colors an eighth of the squares blue and five eighths of the squares red. What fraction of the squares are not colored in? Okay. So, one eighth plus five eighths, well, the denominator stays the same, and one plus five is six. So now I have eight eighths, which would be all of them. Take away the six eighths, denominator stays the same, and eight minus six is two. So we could say two eighths, but two eighths can be reduced. Two goes into two once, and two goes into eight four times. Okay, so you can do either one of those. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out for 13.4. Come on back for 13.5. See you soon.